go and meet my fiance and her son Matthew, my future son, for the first time. Thank you. Getting off the plane. Almost died. <laughs> In Armenia. One small step for man. One giant leap for me and Ask. I'm in the airport. I'm here. You got it. <laughs> she said no. I think she was in shock. But she said no. Then she changed her mind. She said yes. Yes. I was so excited. Now everyone wants to look at the ring. Check out that ring. But don't forget, look at those beautiful nails. And this was our first time at church together. There are many beautiful things in Armenia. And probably the most beautiful thing is my fiance. We visited many places in Armenia, including the Genocide Monument, a very beautiful monument to remind everyone of the genocide that took place in Armenia's past. Then we headed to Dilijan northern part of Armenia, reminding me a lot of the forests in Oregon, for example. We went to the museum. Um, we saw ancient art, including pots that dated from pre-Christ. Here you can see black polished basins. They are orange color from the inside. They were made at a hand for this wheel. Then they were dried and they were lubricated with gold grease and then they were burned at fire. We really bonded in Dilijan. We visited a beautiful lake. We went on an amazing zip line, although they wouldn't let me on it. I got to watch her do it. We roasted marshmallows by the fire. Did you know that their marshmallows actually don't catch on fire? They're different than ours. <laughs> and Armenia is covered in ancient churches. Some of them so old and so large and beautiful that you'd be amazed just walking into them. 
Yes. Do you want to talk about it? Yes, I saved everyone's life. The roof was falling down. I saved them. I said, the roof's falling down. <laughs> she didn't believe me, but it's true. They're literally holding it up right now. If you didn't see that, yes, we saw that. I'm not sure why they haven't set it down yet. Armenia is one of the most ancient places there is, and they have so much culture and tradition. It's beautiful. I was able to ride on the longest cable car ride on the earth, and then we went to the bridge of death. Okay, so we are going down some rickety old steps of death. Literally, there's a broken handrail right there. See? Rickety steps of death. And guess why we're doing it? We're doing it so we can go on a scary bridge of death, which I will be showing you later. This is the effort that you put forth so that you may say that you have one day accomplished the greatest death bridge of doom. Oh, and if you'd like a smoothie, they're only $3.95. <laughs> this is the rickety bridge of death. Do not tell anyone, but I really was getting a little bit scared walking over this bridge. If you guys find this video, you could look for my body down there. There's a bunch of little holes in the walls, like little caves it looks like. People used to live in those houses. Alright, this is getting a little crazy, I'll admit. And this is actually one of the caves that people used to live in. Literally a hole in the rock. You'll see a small hole for, I would imagine they put things there for storage. So the people that lived in those holes came to this church? This waterfall was uh, a nice experience. We were on a long bus trip through southern Armenia and we saw a lot of things. This was when we got to cool down and relax. Um, we climbed on this rock. It was just a, a good experience. It was very beautiful and it reminded me a lot of home. And we saw another old church. There, I, I, Like I said, they're all over Armenia. She's singing and having fun. Republic Square in Yerevan. Very beautiful, very active and wonderful nightlife. Then we went out to the movies and enjoyed that together. And by the way, I am a superhero and I found Cadbury caramel spread in their stores. Bring this product to America right now, people. I might be drunk, 
I might just be a silly weirdo. No! Stop filming everything I do! They drive very differently in Armenia. There's no reason to pay attention to the white lines. Everyone's honking at each other. The lights make no sense. I was confused and a little scared. We made baklava together and we saw so many wonderful locations. Then we did a photo shoot and got some pictures together. We were having fun, not all the pictures were serious. And in one of them she even tried to choke me. And that's how we started our happily ever after.